Happy New Year, everybody! Welcome to Sail Tales. My name is Gary. So 2020 turned into a year that cramped our style a bit with travel restrictions, stay-at-home orders. But a lot of you guys made good use of the time building boats. But watching, I noticed that some of you guys don't exactly follow the instructions. You know who you are. It's okay. I'm one of you guys. Most of my boats are a little bit different than the instructions. In this video, I want to look over my boats and show you some of the things I did that are different than what you see on the plans. And I'll explain why. The schooner Irene is a fantasy boat. She's just the sort of boat I would want if I were younger and wanted to see the world. I gave Irene a shapely bow profile and a curved transom. Both of those features proved difficult to build, so the plans show an easier bow shape and a flat transom. Irene's original sail plan fits the fantasy. All three sails are set on booms, so they are self-tending when you tack. And her Marconi mainsail allows for a permanent backstay to support the rig. Irene would be easily sailed by one person or by a bear. I built Irene without a sail control system because I wanted to build in some interior details. Have a look inside her cabin. In her cargo hold. What a swell feature this would be on a cruising boat because you could carry all your stuff around. Bear's girlfriend hangs out in the forepeak. She pops up once in a while to have a look around. With the prototype Irene sailing, I went ahead and drew up the Irene plans. And I built another one, which I painted black. I named her Tramp. I gave her the gaff rig sail plan, which is an option in the Irene plans, and a sail control system. The whole boat is built just like the Irene plans show, with one exception. I made the cabin just a little bit different, and I did that only to make one boat look different than the other. The schooners are a blast to sail, but I just had to try adding topsails. Irene doesn't need the topsails, but they're fun to play with. I also added an FPV system with a Mobius camera mounted on servos so it can look up and down and all around. The FPV system sends a signal back to you so that you can watch the camera's eye view while you're sailing the boat. The schooner Irene is my largest boat, at least in terms of displacement. Let's take a look at my sloop Emma. Emma's my smallest boat, the lightest, the simplest. Emma's just big enough, just heavy enough to have really good manners and handle really well. Emma's fun to sail. Even more fun with two Emmas. Later on, as we had a spell of really light winds in this area, I gave Emma a topsail. I made a video about that project. My Emmas are built just like the plans show. The only th modification I've made is with the fin keel. If you're building Emma, I'd encourage you to build the fin just the way it's shown on the plans. If you are faced with sailing in shallow water, you can shorten the fin a little bit. 
You can shorten it even more if you add a little extra lead. After Emma, I built myself another schooner. I did this one just for fun. This is my fast cargo schooner, which I named Annie. Annie's hull is long and slender. She is equal in length to the overall length of Irene with her bowsprit. I tried several different sail plans, but in the end, I settled on this arrangement, which is quite like the original Irene. My own Annie appears to be just like the plans, but she is hiding something. After my Irene experience, I had wondered to myself, can I hide a sail control system inside the hull in such a way that I can build in a realistic interior? Well, I did. But I'm not suggesting this is a good idea. <laughs> it was quite a time-consuming project, and after all my efforts, only about three people have ever even peeked inside Annie's hatches. I did manage to make things in such a way that it is possible to access and maintain the winch system. Annie's plans show a very simple sail control system. They don't show any of this interior detail. Overall, Annie's design is quite simple. She's about as simple as a schooner could be. My most recent boat is this gaff cutter, which I call Flyer. I might say Flyer is built just like the plans, but what actually happened is that the plans were drawn just like I built Flyer. Flyer is not hiding any secrets. I have added a couple of deck details. A skylight over the midship hatch and a dummy scuttle for the foredeck. These pieces sit on top of the flat hatch covers. They're just eye candy. They don't affect the operation of the boat. Note that the scuttle on the foredeck hatch is off-center to allow the bowsprit to slide by. Flyer's size lies in between the sloop Emma and the schooner Irene. My boat designs do lend themselves to a little creativity on your part. You're the boat builder, it's your boat. You can make it like you want.